Uh, in this game is the longtime coach uh, from Campbell Collegiate, uh, Greg Johnson, and spotting force is Lauren Schmier. This game pits uh, the LaBolas Golden Suns uh, versus Tom Trojans tonight. LaBolas is 6 and 0 during the regular season and last week this defeated a strong Sheldon Williams Spartans team 29-22 in overtime. Tom was 5 and 1 losing its only game to LaBolas this year. They also had a difficult time with the T O'Neill Titans. They needed a, a last play touchdown to win 27-24. Uh, Greg, you know the strengths and weaknesses of these two teams. Could you explain some of that to us tonight? Well, Alex, definitely if we're going to look at a strength, we've got to look at their quarterbacks. Uh, both finished 1-2 in the league. Uh, Mark Anderson uh, uh, was the all-star uh, quarterback. He threw for... Uh, uh, threw for... Uh, <coughs> Uh, 1,200 yards. He had uh, 15 touchdown passes. John Mackey uh, threw for over 1,000 yards and 14 touchdown passes. They've got a strong running game. But I think the strengths of this game is going to come down to the line. Uh, both teams play a lot of two-way ball players. If we're going to look at weaknesses, I think that's the weakness there as well because they play so many two-way players that uh, if one goes down tonight, uh, they're going to lose two spots. So... Other than that, I think they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty evenly matched. The, the big difference, I think, will be who can win it in the uh, in the pits there. Okay, both these teams have had a number of league all stars this year. Uh, could you go through that list of all stars that are playing on both of these teams tonight, Greg? You bet. For uh, for the Tom Trojans, uh, Mark Anderson was a uh, all star quarterback. Brian Fry was the all star fullback. Uh, we had J.R. Klazowski as an all-star receiver. Uh, also, we had uh, tight end Steve Wilson for Tom. Scott Brown was a tackle. Chris Sullivan, a guard. And uh, Nick Heinrichs at center. And uh, for the Golden Suns, uh, all-stars on offense, Mike Mahoney uh, at, and Craig Zimmer at the tackles. Eric Benson at the guards. David Collins was a wide receiver. Uh, Sean Jestat, uh, not an all-star, but a good one. Oh, and we're ready to kick off, eh, Alex? Yeah, right. Uh, Lebolas is kicking off right now. Mark uh, Wurdakowski is uh, the kickoff specialist for Lebolas, and he kicks off the ball. It uh, goes along the ground, or it picked up around the 10-yard line by Tom Trojans. And the tackle is made by Ryan Anderson. Uh, Ryan Anderson is the returner, and the tackle is made by Lebolas' player. Uh, Ryan Bell, number 34. Alex, it'll be interesting to see what Tom or what uh, Labolda starts out on defense. They play three defenses. They'll play a 43, a 35, and a 44. So, let's see what they come out with. Uh, Tom will start uh, the ball on the 22-yard line. Anderson gets underneath the ball uh, center. He tosses wide. Well, that's not Anderson playing quarterback. Okay, uh, J.R. Kozowski is uh, the quarterback right now, which uh, is common for them. He pitched the ball to Mark Anderson, who uh, doubles as the tailback as well as the quarterback. Tackle is made by Mike Mahoney, the middle linebacker for the Boldest Golden Suns, one of their all-star players. The Boldest has, uh, Boldest has opened up in that 35 defense, figuring that Tom is going to probably run the ball. They're going into the wind right now and a little bit of snow. Yeah, they got a gain about a one and a half, two yards. Anderson's the quarterback down. He throws it downfield. Oh, there's that combination, Alex. Mark Anderson to J.R. Klazowski. Yeah. yeah, Anderson again. Uh, Garrett Olzinski uh, makes the tackle. Uh, Leboldis is in this 35 defense, and what Tom's doing is just running both their inside receivers straight down the middle of the field and uh, overloading a side, and he just lays it up, and they've been doing this all year. Uh, Mark's had a great year throwing the ball. Not only Mark, I watched a few games this year, and uh, the one thing I really noticed about high school football this year is that the passing has really improved. Again, uh, at midfield, uh, Tom is over the ball again. Mark Anderson is at quarterback. He goes back to throw again. He throws it up to J.R. Kozowski again, incomplete. You know, uh, uh, talking about the weather, right now it's about minus 5. We've got a bit of a wind gusting to about 20, uh, 25 kilometers, but that's not stopping the Tom Trojans from putting that ball up in the air. Uh, they're going into the wind here in the first quarter as well. Uh, the Bullets will have the wind at their back in the first quarter. Tom will get the wind at their back in the second quarter, which is the longer of the two quarters generally, the way the time clock starts and stops. 
Here's a counter play to uh, uh, Fry, the uh, fullback for Tom, and he makes a nice uh, 11 yard gain. The Brian, tackle's made by uh, Garrett Olzinski. Brian Fry, uh, again, an all-star fullback this year, uh, ran for about 550 yards and six touchdowns, but in the quarterfinal game against Balfour, he ran for five touchdowns. He's uh, quite a specimen, too. He's about 6'1 and about 200 pounds, a nationally ranked junior rugby player. First down for Tom on the 49-yard line. Mark Anderson's again at quarterback. And he drops back to throw the ball. Again, he's throwing it deep to uh, uh, J.R. Kozowski. The ball is a little short. It's knocked down by uh, Sean Jestat, number 29, the starting corner for the Lobola's Golden Suns. That's one thing that uh, Tom's going to have to look out for. Uh, Sean Jestat has got great speed and great, uh, great ball sense, and he's there. And if they hang that ball up too high, he's got a, just as good a chance as anybody picking that thing off. Tom will be second down then on the 49-yard line on Lobola's 49. Mark Anderson again under the center. And he rolls out the pass again. Looks like a screen play here, which is incomplete. Uh, broken, uh, the screen was to Darren Morrison, one of their slot backs. Cameron Obergewich. Obergewich. Okay, thank you, Greg. <laughs> Number 11 knocked it down. Yeah, Cam Obergewich, uh, defensive end. Uh, his dad, uh, Charlie Obergewich, was a teammate of mine on the Rams, and uh, he's a great 12. Uh, starting. I, I wouldn't be admitting this, Greg, how old you are. <laughs> Brian Fry is the punter. Snap is a little high, but uh, there's no rush. Gets the punt away down to around the 25-yard uh, line. There, it's picked up there by uh, David Collins, number 24. Yeah, yeah and those uh, those punt returns. There's a flag on the play. The Boldus has two very dangerous punt returners in David Collins and Sean Jesthead. Both of them uh, can take that ball the distance. The officials are conferring now to see what the penalty is all about. But I think it's going to be a no yards penalty. Yards. Yeah. Against Tom. Ball kind of backed up on him. Yeah, it came back to towards the uh, Tom players, and they didn't retreat out of the uh, uh, the five yard zone that they must get. Uh, we have no yards. Number 20, Tom. Penalty is accepted. First down, Lebolus. Lebolus is going to start with uh, Craig Schweitzer at the tailback. He rushed for uh, 750 yards, and again, John Mackey, who was number two in the league, uh, with 14 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards passing, Alex. Lebolus uh, starts at first down on the 35-yard line. Mackey's under center. Throws a little hitch out to... Dave Collins. Dave Collins, number 24. And he gets the first down yardage. I remarked a little earlier. Tackled by Mark Anderson, the quarterback for Tom Collegiate, play, also playing defensive halfback. Sorry, Alex, but I remarked a little earlier about the speed of Jestat and Collins, and they just want to get him that ball. And and uh, Leboldis, or pardon me, Tom is given a little bit of room. You'll see here, it's just a little hitch. And uh, Mark Anderson uh, hangs on, and the rest of the troops are over there. Cliff Story, I believe that's uh, 46, making helping out with the tackle. First down on the uh, Lobolas 45. Mackey under center again. And a handoff to Switzer, so the tailback, number 28. And he gets a short three yard gain. Switzer. Tackles made by uh, number 46, Mike Story. I said Cliff Story, like Mike Story, right. Uh, what Lobolas likes to do with their running game is they like to, to uh, block down and cut back. And you see. Uh, Schweitzer will start out one way, and he's going to cut back inside. First down again for uh, Lobola's Golden Suns. Pardon me, second down for the Gold, Lobola's Golden Suns. About eight, uh, six yards to go. Toss wide to Switzer. Cuts it back up inside. As Greg had said, they like to cut it back, but there was no room there at all. Uh, tackle was made by uh, defensive end Chris Sullivan, number 65. Tom came with a blitz that time, knowing that uh, kind of had a feeling that uh, Lobolis was going to run the ball. So you'll see here they blitz their outside linebacker and their inside linebacker. And as a result, there's a good uh, tackle there by uh, number 65 from, uh, from Tom, and that's Chris Sullivan. 
It's third down. J.L. Kozowski is back to return the punt. The punter is uh, David Collins, number 24. And he was the all-star punter this year in the Schwann Conference. He's a good punt uh, to the sidelines. JR makes a good cut here and makes a nice 15-yard uh, punt return down to the Tom 40-yard line. Tackle was made by Mike Mahoney, number 61. Well, we've got a minute here, uh, Alex. Uh, we've got the two head coaches uh, for the, uh, the two teams, Jerry Thompson, who's been around forever. And uh, it's interesting, uh, Joe Manick over from Miller. This is his first city championship game as a head coach. Well, we, he walked into a great situation, eh? He certainly did. He's got to be excited. First down for Tom on the 41-yard line. Run a little cutback play again, a counter to uh, fullback. Uh, uh, Brian Fry, number 28. Uh, not as successful as the first time they ran it when they got 11 yards. This time they maybe got one. And maybe, well, probably not even one yard. When, when, uh, Attack was made by Mike Mahoney and Eric Benson, the two linebackers for uh, Leboldis. Alex, when Leboldis plays that 35, it's so hard to run sideways on it because their linebackers like to just slant. And they've got all the gaps fi filled up. Uh, it's almost better to uh, try and run right at them. Well, I'm, I'm sure Jerry will figure that one out pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he will. Second down for Tom and 10. Little play action, uh, draw fake. And throws it up in the middle of the field. Nobody seemed to be there. Uh, I guess it was supposed to be for Steve Wilson, but uh, he was nowhere in the, in the vicinity. Out on the outside, it looked like they had a, uh, a receiver wide open, but uh, uh, he didn't see that individual. I think it was number uh, 24, Ryan Anderson, his brother. His brother maybe mentioned that to him. It's third down, and uh, they'll be punting again, I'm sure. Tom will be. And... Uh, the, the punter is number 28, Brian Fry. Right now, Leboldis only has one. Pay. Oh, there goes David Collins dropping back now. The the long snapper on their uh, punts is uh, Steve Fairburn. Okay, uh, long snaps for Tom on the punts. Does an excellent job this time. And uh, Brian gets a, a good punt away down to the 45-yard line. Again, there's a flag on the field. Uh, the returner was David Collins, number 24. I don't think uh, that Tom is going to kick that ball to Sean Jestat tonight. Sean had three uh, special team David touchdowns this year, uh, two David on kickoff Collins. returns and one on punt returns. So I think David Collins is going to see the brunt of the punt return yardage tonight. Uh, the tackle on that play was made by Darren Morrison and J.R. Klosowski. We have no yards. Tom, number 20, penalties accepted. Uh, where we're seeing a slight uh, change in field position here in favor of Leboldis with those penalties. And again, uh, it's definitely, I think that wind is definitely a factor. First down on the uh, Tom 54 yard line. Quick three step drop and a throw out to the outside. Uh, to uh, by John Mackey to the wide receiver. And that was uh, uh, Andrew Larson, number 32. Yeah, uh, Andrew Larson, a brother of Nick Larson, a uh, past uh, great running back uh, with the LeBoldis Golden Suns. And covered on the play by Ryan Anderson, quite out. Uh, there was no opening there. Second down and 10 to go. Okay, on the uh, Tom 54 yard line. Mackey under center again. He'll throw underneath. And he could be gone. That could be David Collins. And he's all the way forward. Alex, all we had was a little crossing pattern here. Dave Collins comes from the backside all the way across the field. Sean just had cleared out. And uh, there it was, six points. Yeah, it was a nice little uh, pass play. Here it is on the replay, Greg. You're going to see David Collins. He's coming from the top. Comes it across just underneath. They cleared out, and uh, David's got great speed, and you can see that he's gone. Uh, he just ran away from everybody. Nobody had a chance to catch him. There's nobody on the Tom team fast enough to catch him. Mark Wernerkowski is the uh, extra point kicker for uh, Leboldis, number uh, 30. And that the snap was good, the hole was good, and the point was good. You know, Tom's down here early here by uh, seven points with 5.32 remaining in the first quarter. 
both teams can run and throw the ball, and we've seen it now. I mean, Tom, even though the weather is like it is, they've gone to the air, Alex, uh, and the is not having a lot of success on the ground. Both teams are in the air, which is, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's a sign, or they just don't think they can run against each other. Or? Well, I, you know, I think both teams have uh, been very good at, at doing both. I mean, uh, they've had success running and throwing the ball, but uh, you're right. Uh, I think by the looks of it, both teams think they want to throw on each other. Uh, they might figure that that's the weakness of either team, their pass defense. But uh, uh, they sure have been throwing the ball a lot more in, than normal because uh, yeah. Tom's usually been a running team. Uh, actually, they've thrown a lot this year. Yeah, they have. They've thrown a lot more than they've ever thrown. But they've got uh, a great quarterback to do that. The kickoff here down to uh, the five-yard line. It bounces into the end zone. And uh, Mark Anderson has it. And he's thinking about taking it out. If he can get it out to the one, they got it on the 20. I'm surprised, yeah, he, didn't I'm surprised try to... he didn't take it out either. Because in amateur football, the rule is if you get it out of the end zone, you get it on the 20. Uh, and that surprises me that he gave up the single point. That, that's not normally done. The tackle was made by number 34, Ryan Bell, on the play. But, uh, I think uh, Mark could have taken it out. Uh, I don't know the reason why he wouldn't yeah. have. They're going to get 15 more yards, but they've given up a point. So maybe that's the trade-off. Maybe that was it. With uh, kicking into the win in this first quarter, they might have decided field position was more important than than uh, you know uh, saving a point at this point in time early in the game here. The and board. with a two-point convert in, uh, in, uh, in high school football, you can always get that two points back. Get that back. point back, that's right. First down for Tom on the 35, their 35-yard line. Uh, Mark Anders is back and throws again just over the outstretched hands of number 14, J.R. Glazowski. And uh, uh, defending on the play was number 13, Scott Gilmore. Again, you can see that uh, Mark Anderson's going to his favorite target over and over and over again. Yeah, on the replay. And it looks like they're trying to get after uh, after Gilmore. He's a great 11. Uh, it's his first year as a starter. And uh, the corners are very good for Labolda. So I think uh, they're going to be looking down that middle. And, of course, with no safety, it gives you the opportunity for that deep pass down the middle. Again, second down for Tom on the 35-yard line. Hand off here to Brian Fry. And he makes a nice runoff tackle to the right here down to the... Oh, about the 50-yard uh, line, We're good for about 15 yards. Tackle was made by linebacker number 51, Eric Benson. I think you're going to see a great matchup here tonight. Here's uh, Brian Fry with the uh, with the handoff, and uh, you'll see that uh, there isn't a number 61 around there, and they must be they must have did a great block on Mike Mahoney because he's the middle linebacker and he was nowhere to be seen. So good job by the Tom offensive line. Yeah, good block by slot back number 34, Steve Wilson, on the play. First down for Tom on the 50-yard line. Fakes the handoff to Fry, rolling to his left, throwing on the run, throwing uh, over J.R. Kozowski and almost into the hands of uh, the defensive back on that side, Scott Gilmore, number 13. One thing the boldest really likes to do out of this 35 is they'll bring Mike Mahoney up the middle, and we saw that earlier just on that play. You're going to see Mike Blitzen up the middle here, putting a lot of pressure on Mark Anderson. He just gets the ball away, and uh, just over the outstretched arms of, uh, of a Leboldis player there, uh, so it gives them second and ten. Again, uh, that's probably the reason that they're rolling uh, uh, him out. If uh, if they like to blitz the middle linebacker, you want to get away from that pressure by rolling your quarterback one way or the other to take that pressure away from him. Second down on the 50-yard line. Little play action fake, roll action again to the left. And this time wide op open is number 34, Steve Wilson. And he carries it down to the Lobolis uh, 37 yard line on that play Alex it looked like they were in man to man which means that they've got to get a linebacker out into that flat to cover the tight end and that's a long way to go and as you can see uh, he was wide open here you've got to get a linebacker has got to cover out there and, and uh, Mahoney Mike Mahoney uh, from uh, from, uh, from his middle linebacking spot. spot is all the way out there yeah yeah so there was a breakdown there or somewhere else they blitzed it a little bit of a breakdown in coverage first down for Tom then on the uh, Lobola's 38 uh, yard line Throwing out here to the flats, uh, to number 20, uh, Darren uh, Morrison, incomplete. There's that same situation. They're putting a guy out into the flat. The linebacker's not getting out there, and uh, if they can get a get that ball out. Yeah. The, the guy's wide open in the flats. All they have to do is hit him. I think what they're doing, though, is they're now bringing that, uh, that, that they've got the five linebackers, that inside linebacker is coming on the outside to try and put a little heat on him, and that's opening up, uh, and that's opening up that, uh, that flat area. 
Second down from the Lobola's 38 for Tom. Mark Anders is under center again. Little play action fake again to Fry and roll. It looks like he's tucking and he's going to take it himself. And a good first down carry all the way down to the uh, Lobola's 22-yard uh, line. Tackle there made by uh, Sean Jestat, the corner. That's something a little different. All year, I mean, that, that area was there for, uh, for Mark to run, and he wouldn't run. He was passing the ball, but now he's got the ability. He's a big, strong guy. I mean, he, he backs up as a halfback, and so uh, running with the ball is nothing strange for him, and he's a big, strong athlete. Uh, and he gets the first down. First and 10 for Tom on the Lobola's 22-yard line. Mark Anderson under center. A little a option action. This time they give the ball to uh, Brian Fry under uh, off tackle to the right. And uh, tackles made by uh, linebacker Eric Benson, number 51. Uh, okay, now that's uh, they've run some options before uh, with uh, J.R. Klazowski being the tailback uh, as the, the pitch man in the option. What they're setting up here, Alex, it's is... second and four here. They'll run this... Uh, they'll setting up this freeze option. They're going to wait and see how the linebackers play in this. And if he goes out and takes the uh, pitch man, which is Klazowski, then they're going to give it to Fry. And, uh, okay, there we are. Straight gri uh, give Oh, again there's a fumble. Fry. Straight give to Fry again. I don't see uh, any signal here, so... It looked like first down yardage. There's that same situation again. They're just going to run that off tackle until that linebacker decides to come down inside. When that linebacker does come down inside, you'll watch him run the freeze option on the halfback. Okay, uh, there was a fumble on the play, and uh, Chris Sullivan, number 65, picked it up. The starting offensive line for Tom is number 63, Nick Hendricks. The guards are Mike Story and Chris Sullivan. The tackles are uh, Steve Fairburn and Scott Brown, and they do an excellent job of blocking for uh, the uh, Tom running game and also for Mark Anderson when he throws. The receivers are 21, Taylor Koch. Slot backs, Darren Morrison and Steve Wilson and J.R. Klozowski, and the other wide out is Ryan Anderson. For, uh, first down, rolls to his left. Throws Got it him. into the end zone. To his Touchdown, Anderson to Anderson. Yeah, to Ryan Anderson, his brother. Ryan was an all-star, but, you know, they got him outside. If Mark Anderson can get outside, he's got a great arm. So now a decision here whether they kick for one or go for two for the tie. Well, I, I think they'll try and get that one point. You don't want to be down by two. It looks, it looks like the... They're, I don't see anybody coming out. You're so going. You think they're going? <laughs> they're going for it. Yeah. Well, I guess I better not go to the casino tonight, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom took the uh, kickoff then and uh, marched it right back within about three or four minutes here, uh, and answered that touchdown with one of their own. Here's the two-point convert from the five-yard line. A little fake uh, action to number 28, okay. rolling right uh, in the end zone. To oh, he dropped oh, it. Oh, he dropped it. Ah, uh, he was it there. Looked, it looked like it was complete. J.R. Klazowski was wide open, and he dropped the ball, which isn't seen very often by Tom Collegiate when that young man drops the ball. He did an excellent job, actually. No, as sure as it's snowing out here, you can be sure that J.R. is going to not drop too many balls. Good, uh, good march down the field. Great march down the field. Kicking off for Tom will be, uh, again, Mark Anderson, number seven. Tom didn't. Uh, Tom took advantage of that uh, 35 defense, and uh, Lobola stayed in it and uh, thought they could get some pressure on. And as a result, though, Mark Anderson's outside, and we've got ourselves a great ball game going here. Deep for Lobola is number 24 David Collins and number 29 Sean Jestat, and kicking off, of course, is Mark Anderson, Mr. Everything. Fairly high kick down to about the 30-yard line, caught there by David Collins. And a very dangerous returner is he, and he got uh, down to the uh, Lobola's 50-yard line before he was tackled, about a 20-yard return. Well, Tackle was made by number 46, Mike Story, and number 7, the kicker, Mark Anderson. 
I mentioned earlier, we've got a lot of two-way players on this team and uh, on both sides of the ball. That offensive line for uh, for Leboldis is a very big and a very strong one, led by uh, number 61, Mike Mahoney, and number 56, Craig Zimmer. First down for uh, Leboldis on the 49, their 49-yard line, and a handoff to the tailback, uh, number 28, uh, Craig Schweitzer. Craig Schweitzer, uh, grade 12 running back. Uh, his dad, uh, Howard Schweitzer, is the athletic director at Leboldis. But uh, Craig has got a, he's got great feet. He'll uh, take the ball outside, and you'll see him cut back inside. Uh, reads his blocks very, very well. You'll see this here. Takes it out to the right, cuts it back inside, and does a very good job. Second and uh, three here on the 54-yard uh, line of Tom. And again, a handoff to Craig Schweitzer. Uh, he gets maybe a half a yard or so, maybe maybe no gain at all here. The other uh, the tackle was made by number 34, Steve Wilson. The other members of the offensive line for Lebolas are uh, uh, Ivan Lusick at 69 at center, Terry Leonati 44 at guard, and Eric Benson, the other guard, number 51. Uh, Garrett Olszewski is one wide out. Uh, Angelo Zabo is the other wide out. Collins and Justad are the... Uh, uh, the slot backs. Con Nugent is the fullback, and Craig Schweitzer is the tailback. Big play early, Alex. It's third and three, and they're going for it. Oh, we've got ourselves a timeout by the referee. Oh, timeout. Time Tom, Tom. Yeah. Uh, they came out in a power eye, two tight ends, uh, and uh, Tom had to take a timeout because I don't think they were prepared for that. They were ready for a punt here oh, in this no. situation. Yeah, it's a it's a gamble at this point in time. Uh, third and three, but. Uh, in high school, you'd see that more often at the ne than at the next levels up because three yards shouldn't be a great deal uh, to get by offense. No, they've got... Uh, it's a big gamble, but you've got to have confidence in your linemen, and they probably want to go for it. Leboldis has been a, that kind of team all year, taking advantage of uh, their strengths, and that is their offensive line. Uh, they got 27 seconds in this quarter, and then they're into the wind. Uh, they might want to hold on to the ball a little bit here. Uh, you know, uh, at this point in time, well, although the wind has died down by the looks of it, anyhow. But you know, with 27 seconds left, you got the ball behind you. I just might kick that thing deep, and uh, have them play deep in their own end. But here comes John Mackey. We got a power eye with John Mackey under center. Uh -huh. Got motion to the right, and hand he off the right. He doesn't get it, Alex. They didn't stuffed get it. Him. They stuffed them. Craig Schweitzer was the ball carrier, I, but there was a great hit in there on, by Tom Kleger by number 61, Steve Fairburn. Reminds me of his dad when he played for me. You're going to see here, again, they want to get off tackle and cut it back inside. But I'll tell you what, Mike Story just dropped him. Just dropped him. Big yeah. play early. It was a great play by two Tom players, A. Fairburn on the bottom and Story at the top. Tom takes over on downs. Okay, on their own 52-yard line, first down. JR's under center. He tosses it to Mark Anderson on the toss outside, and Mark gets about a six, seven-yard gain. The tackle is made by Angus Zabo, number 33, the halfback for uh, Lebolas. You know, this is this is quite an offense, Alex. So you've got uh, you can interchange your wide receiver with your quarterback and they can trade positions and it gives you just that extra back you don't have to bring somebody in uh... it's really a nice luxury to have yeah, uh, they have a, a bunch of good skilled athletes on the uh, tom team this year uh... but again as you we all know you have to have an offensive line i think they have that as well they certainly do it's second and uh... five yards to go here Again, JR is at the quarterback, giving it to Anderson, and he stopped uh, in his tracks this time by uh, number 61 middle linebacter Mike Mahoney for uh, Leboldis. Mike Mahoney was the uh, defensive player of the year this year, and Mark Anderson was the offensive player of the year. So we've got a real good uh, representation of uh, great athletes out there. Mike uh, was also the offensive line or the lineman of the year as well. It's the end of the quarter and they're changing ends and the referees appreciate it. They didn't have to travel very far to change ends here. A couple of yards. Not too hard to figure out. See any changes, Alex? Do you think uh, 
going to still do the same things? Well, I think, you know, the, the, you, you rode the horse that got you here. Playing uh, in a city final at, uh, in high school sport is uh, the highlight of most young athletes' lives. And, Greg, you've been there a lot of times. How do you keep them focused and not too uptight in games like this? I think what you got to just tell them is keep doing the things that you've done well all year to get yourself here. Hey, uh, Tom runs the option. They fake the dive, and uh, quarterback Mark Anderson carries the ball about a 20-yard gain. Uh, and tackled there by Cameron Obergewich. Okay, there's another Number 11. There's just another piece of that option. Given that uh, lead block to uh, Fry there, and then Mark Anderson just keeps the ball, and it's it's not really a quarterback uh, carrying the ball. It's a running back carrying the ball as a quarterback, and he uh, powers his way for that first down. Yeah, it's a, a nice to have an athlete like that that can play quarterback, running back, and throw the ball. First down for Tom on the 37-yard line. Little play action fake and roll. He pulls up nicely and throws the ball. Nice catch. And there's a nice catch there by uh, Darren Morris in the slot back for Tom. A nice sliding catch. Tackle made by Craig Zimmer, linebacker for uh, uh, Lobolis. I've been waiting to mention his name because his brother plays on the Regina Rams. And the Regina Rams are in the Canadian Bowl. They're playing here November the 14th. Uh, and it's going to be the last junior football game played in, in Regina. Uh, seeing that the Rams are joining the CIAU next year. First down for uh, Tom on the 30. No, it's second down. We second about, down, sorry. Got about second and seven. Second and seven. Little play action fake. Going oh, he's straight wide down. open. Morrison's right Morrison there. Morrison down the middle. Oh, he dropped it, Alex. Oh, too bad. He, he dropped it, eh? He was wide open. Again, there's that 35 defense by Lobolis. It leaves that middle open. And they just sent uh, slot back Don Morrison right down the middle of the field. Well, I well, he I, had would to believe, die for it I, I would believe that Tom will go for it here. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they've got anything to lose by uh, by not going for it. Okay, Tom's going uh, third and uh, a, long, a long seven yards. Last time Leboldis went for it, they didn't get it. We'll see if they can answer back here. There's Morrison wide open. Oh! He overthrew him this time. Last time he was a little short. This time he overthrew him. So they, uh, Tom turns over the ball on downs to Leboldis. And... Uh, I tell you what, Alex, if, uh, if Leboldis doesn't do something about that, uh, that middle seam, it could be a nightmare for him because that's twice that he has been wide open and just been, first of all, underthrown and then overthrown. First down for Lobolis on the, their own 33-yard line. Uh, outside of that one little pass over the middle, Lobolis really hasn't had much going for it offensively uh, as of yet. No, their, their line has been held in check by the Tom defense. A little fullback dive here uh, to uh, Con Nugent, number 39, and uh, he makes a nice uh, three, four yard gain. The boldest is running game. Tackles is made by uh, Steve Fairburn and Sid Brown. The boldest is running game is geared to run between the tackles. They really don't have an outside uh, speedster. What they'll do is run the counter with Sean Jestad or David Collins to get outside, but they got to try and run that ball in between if they're going to go with their running backs. Second down and seven. Offside by Tom, either that or procedure, but there is a flag on the play. In this league, I think the the, the, the offside will go to the defense. Yeah. Offside of defense, so now it's going to be second about three yards. The one thing that With we know Offside, Tom, number 63, will be second down repeated. It'll be first, uh, second down on the 41, about two, two and a half yards to go. The boldest, when we play, they do a very good job with their quarterback of changing up the counts. They'll go short count, long count, and uh, as you can see right there, he got him on a long count, got him offside. Mackey hasn't thrown as much as, the, as Mark Anderson, but the games I've seen him in, he also throws a very nice long ball as well.
little three-step drop and throw to Collins in the slot here. Collins will lose a couple of tacklers. Fumbles, he fumbles the, ball. the ball. And Tom recovers. Oh, oh, oh. I'll tell you what, you can't fault David recovered Collins by for Dan. that. It's uh, covered by Dan uh, Drake, number 19. And uh, Collins was just fighting and struggling uh, for all he was worth, a, getting as much yard as po possible. Watch this, watch this hard determination. What a great run here. He just is trying for every every second yard that he can get, but it just slips out of his hand, and uh, Tom gets the first turnover of the game. It was punched, by the looks of it on the replay, it was punched out by J.R. Kozlowski uh, as he turned his back. Tom's first down the on their 45-yard line. The boldest is going to take a timeout here. Okay. You know, uh, just uh, to mention, we mentioned earlier that uh, Joe Manick, this is his uh, first year at Leboldis, and he's uh, been on a great ride to the city championship. He, uh, his offensive coordinator is Scott McNeil. Uh, Dan Stewart is the defensive coordinator. Uh, Devin McCrum runs the special teams. Uh, Aaron Runge is back in town, a, a, a former uh, Husky Ram Leboldis uh, alumni. Uh, and uh, Rob Brashani, there's a lot of big names here, and I'd like to say a little special hello to uh, one of our teachers out there, uh, Rainey uh, Hainstock, who is going to be marrying the defensive back coach for the LeBoldis Golden Sons, Rod Cushway. So, those are the coaches for LeBoldis. The LeBoldis defense is made up by uh, tackles, uh, Derek Dedman, number 60, Yvonne Lusick, number 69, Terry Leonati at end 44 and Cameron Obergewich at the number 11 at the other end. First down for Tom on the 45-yard uh, line. Anderson goes back to throw again. Number 20, uh, Dan Morrison, uh, Darren Morrison, pardon me, is wide open again. There's that seam, Alex. We talked about it all night. Leboldis wants to stay in that 35 defense, and they're paying for it. And the tackle's made by number 21, Garrett Ol Olazinski. Great pass protection here. Nice ball put up there. And just out of the, Scotty, uh, they did a little bit of a rotation with their halfback, and Gilmore were just a little late getting over there. Big game. The linebackers for Lebolas are Craig Zimmer, number 56, Mike Mahoney, 61, and Eric Benson, 51. Tom's first down again on the Lebolas 37, rolls to his right. I think we're going to see a procedure call here, Alex. Flag on the play. Wanted to throw it to Darren uh, Morrison again, who's becoming fast, uh, becoming one of his favorite targets. The defensive backs for Lobolas are Jean, uh, Sean Jestat, number 29 at the corner. Angus Zabo, number 33 at a half. David Collins is the safety, number 24. Scott Gilmore, number 13, is the other half. And Garrett Olzinski is the corner, number 21. Pardon me, Alex. It's not. Uh, it's not procedure on Tom. It's offside on Lobolas, so that gives Tom a first down. Yeah, offside. The boldest, number 33, first down is repeated. Yeah. So it's first and five for Tom on the uh, Lebolas 31-yard line. Anderson's under center here. I think they're coming with a blitz here. Yeah, here comes Mahoney. One thing you can notice with the uh, Leboldis defense, when they go in that 35 defense and put all three over, they cover the guards in the center, uh, they're going to bring the middle linebacker right up the middle, and they, Tom did a very good job of picking that blitz up. Uh, number 28, Brian Fry, is, uh, was the ball carrier. Number 61, uh, Mike Mahoney, the middle linebacker, was the tackler. Uh, if you uh, line those people up like that, like I saw them do in the next down, number 20, 28's running off tackle all exactly. day long because there's nobody there to take care of them. You know the Mac is coming, and Mahoney did, but they picked him up, and that allowed uh, that allowed that running back to get the first down. Or actually, they're going to measure for it here. Uh, earlier, I mentioned that the uh, Rams are going to be playing here on the 14th. Uh, they're going to be playing against the Okanagan Sun. Uh, it's the same two teams that were in the final last year. It's a, as I said before, it's the final junior football championship for the Rams here. It's fitting that it's in Regina because of the long-standing uh, tradition the Rams have had uh, in the uh, junior football in Canada. You know, Alex, when you speak about the Rams, and I look down these lists of coaches, I see Chuck Toth, I see Brian Seif, Danny Pascue, uh, Corey Renwick, Aaron Runge, just a lot of uh, Ram alumni out back in coaching football. First down for Tom on the 25-yard line of Lobolas, and again, he rolls to his right. Tackle is missed there, and he managed to gain a couple of yards. Mark Anderson carried the ball, 
Eric Benson made the tackle, number 51, and Mike Mahoney, number 61, I'll tell you the what, linebacker. There was a heck of a collision down there, and that there are two great athletes going at it. Watch this. Mike Mahoney just gives him a good hit, but look at Mark keeps his feet going. Uh, it's interesting. Mark's a great athlete. We've been talking a lot about him. Uh, his, uh, his mom, Bev, was probably the, one of the best female athletes to ever come out of Tom Collegiate. Uh, and Dad was a wrestler for the Cougars, so he's got pretty good bloodlines. Second down for Tom on the 23-yard line. Seven yards to go. Go fake roll action again. Oh. And to his favorite target, J.R. Kozowski, number 14. Tackle is made in there by Sean Jestad, number 29. Yeah, uh, like on the replay, if we see this, you're going to see Nick Heinrichs just level the outside rush here. You're going to watch the tackle here come down. Watch this block right here. We don't see it. But he allows him to get outside and a great pass and run here for J.R. Klazowski. That's a very good throw. I mean, that's what those two have been pitching and catching all year long. And they finally connected here. First down for Tom on the 11-yard line. Oh, six-yard line, pardon me. Got a fumble. And Laboldis has recovered. Chris, Chris Sullivan fumbled the ball. Uh, J.R. Kozowski was the quarterback, and the uh, tailback was Mark Anderson. And uh, they gave it to one of the up, up backs? Or? No, they gave it to number 65. That was uh, Chris Sullivan in the backfield. He just didn't get a handle on it. You know, it's almost like deja vu all over again here, Alex. Uh, the last time these two teams played, they were on the six-yard line. Tom threatening to score, and Leboldis again stopped him on a intercepted an option pass and ran it back for a touchdown. Well, it's first down for Leboldis on the five-yard line. And they've got to give to the tailback, number 28, uh, Craig uh, Schweitzer. Yeah, there's just no running room up the middle. Tom is doing a very good job picking up from the bottom of the pile there is Steve Fairburn. Stuffed that hole up pretty good. And there's some big boys out there. Uh, Craig Zimmer's uh, about 6'3 and about 235. Mahoney's about 225. Fairburn is... Uh, 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 Steve Fairburn's coming in about yeah, 215. Going, Nick Heinrich's 250. There's some big boys playing that game down there. Here comes uh, LaBolis out for second, second and eight. Looking for some play action pass there, I think. Or we got the counter. No, counter, yeah. There it is, yeah. They ran a little slot back counter to uh, Sean Jestat, number 29. And uh, he picked up, what, maybe five yards. Tackle in there made by linebacker Darren uh, Morrison, number 20, who was a league all-star, the only all-star off that Tom defense. Tom defense is made up of the front four, Steve Fairburn at one end, Chris Sullivan at the other, Nick Hendricks at tackle, Sid Brown at the other tackle. Mike Story's a linebacker, number 46, Steve Wilson, 34, is another linebacker. You got a gamble and here, Alex. Third and yeah, one. Third and one, and they're going forward to here again. And the quarterback just keeps it. Lots yes. of yards. Lots, lots of, of yards. Yeah. Carrier was John Mackey, the quarterback, number seven and it was tackled by a horde of Tom Trojans on the inside. What they do when they go to run that quarterback keep is they'll just move Mahoney over to one of the guards and whatever guard Mahoney's playing at, Mackey's going to follow him. John's a big boy himself. He's about uh, 6'1 and about uh, 200 pounds, you'll see here. Right in behind right, uh, Mike Mahoney, you'll see, and uh, great block, and they get the first down. First down then for Lavolis on, the, uh, on their 17-yard line. Got double slot backs, the I formation. Fullback right up the middle. And he has a nice carry. That's uh, Con Nugent, okay, number 39. Real quick dive right up the middle. Tackle made by Dan Drakett. They cut Tom 19. off. They cut Tom off guard there because very seldom does Tom, or does, pardon me, does Lebolda use their fullback. It's just a nice little uh, reverse uh, pivot and give, and uh, Nugent just uh, takes it out out of harm's way. They've got some breathing room now out on the 40-yard line. First down on the uh, Lebolda's 39. Mackey's under center. Double slots, I formation. Fake the dive up the middle. Throw a little swing pass here to uh, Craig Schweitzer, who's got the outside, and he's down to the Tom 
six yard line for Darren Rankin and J.R. Kuzinski make the tackle. Now that's a new play they must have put in this week. You're going to see they fake the dive to the fullback. Schweitzer leaks out into the flat there and a nice layup there. Schweitzer in the open field. He gets some nice, nice running room there. That's a new play, Greg. You've never seen that from I him haven't before. seen that. I haven't seen that this year from them. So they've got some tricks up their sleeves. Okay, first down on the uh, Tom 46. Double slots eye. And a lead play to Craig Schweitzer right up the middle. And he looks like he could go, go all, all the way. way. Touchdown, Lebolas, Craig Schweitzer. That's a great run right up the middle. He ran behind the big horses, Zimmer and Mahoney. 46-yard carry. Again, there it is. Just a good block at the initial point here. Nice little pull there by 69. Cuts it back inside. He's got great speed. You know, he's got the quick feet, moves well. Very nicely set up. Gives the boldest right now an eight-point lead, 14-6. And we're going to go for the point after here, kicking the ball for uh, the Bullis' uh, Mark Wernkowski. That uh, fumble by Sullivan down on the five-yard line of Tom uh, created a 14-point turnaround. Tom was going in to score. The Bullis took the ball right back from their five-yard line, went 105 yards and scored one of their own. With 4-14 may remain in the corner, a quarter, the score is 15-6 for Lobolis. One thing that Tom doesn't have to worry about is they don't have to get rattled. They know that they can move this ball against the Golden Suns. They've been doing that for the whole first half. They just have to shake off that fumble, realize that if they do things right, they're going to be in this game. And uh, and I'm sure that uh, that's what Coach Thompson and, and Coach Toth are talking to their troops down, down there about. Uh, they, uh, they've had receivers open all night. Uh, uh, when Mark Anderson hits them, they'll they'll get some big yardage. You're right. Yes, they will. Kicking off then for uh, Lobolis is Mark Wernkowski. Yeah. He was the all-star kicker again this returners year. Returners are Jared Klazowski and uh, Ryan Anderson. Brian Fry. Brian Fry catches the ball short, takes it right up the middle, okay, down to the Tom 40-yard line. First and 10 for Tom at the 40-yard line. You know, it's, it's interesting. We talked earlier. They met this year, and the boldest won the game 34 to 12. But the game was decided late in the uh, late in the first half. Uh, it was a very close game up until that point, and we've got the same situation here, uh, almost a carbon copy of uh, of the first time they played each other. Well, uh, Tom has uh, four uh, four minutes here before the half time. Uh, they start in the ball on their 40-yard line. First down. Uh, ace backfield set. Anderson straight back, throwing up deep to J.R. Klazowski, and it's incomplete. We have a flag. It could be pass interference, uh, offense or defensive pass interference. If it is, it's a 15-yard penalty. Uh, Garrett Olzinski might be the person that was flagged on the play. What you're going to see here is that Lebolda starts in the 35, but they drop a man off. We can't see it here, but they rotate a safety back in there, and that takes away that seam. Now, I don't know what the flag's going to be on. Look good from here. But it is against Lebolis. Uh, I think uh, the defensive back arrived a little bit early. But it'll only be a 15 yard penalty in amateur Forward football. Forward pass interference. Lebolis, number 21, 15 yard penalty. First down. Head referee Don Butchko is uh, giving us the signal there. So it's a first down for Tom. First down for Tom on the 55-yard line. 3.48 left in the uh, half. Ace formation. Little swing pass. Pretty dangerous there. Number uh, 13 was up in the area. Scott Gilmore was up in the area. He had a potential uh, catch there. JR, the pass was intended for J.R. Klozowski, but uh, it was a dangerous pass. It hung up there for quite it a while. It almost looks like the uh, the receiver there, uh, the first receiver, Brian Fry, was trying to pick off the corner and uh, didn't get deep enough. And uh, as you said, he almost picked it off. Tom yeah. lines up in the ace backfield set it's interesting. again. They've moved Mahoney to the outside now for a little bit of rush from the outside. 
They've moved him from his middle linebacker position to the outside. That's the first time I've ever seen him play there. Number 28, uh, the fullback, uh, Brian Fry, uh, gets about a six-yard, seven-yard gain. Tackle made by uh, number 51, Eric Benson. Benson's been a very busy linebacker for the Bulldogs tonight. Called his name a lot of times. Yeah, another solid two-way player for the Bulldogs. We've got a third down. Tom, we're going for it, Alex. Yeah. Third and four. Boldus in that 35. Running the option here, and he turns it up himself. Okay, so Mark Anderson gets the first down with a penalty to spare. Tackle is made by Craig Zimmer, number 56. Uh, another linebacker for Boldus. Yeah, smart heads-up play on this uh, this option here. It's run all the way. There's no uh, hesitation in his mind to not take this ball all the way. And why not put it in the hands of, uh, of your surest uh, runner? First down for Tom on the uh, Lobola's 41-yard line. The teams have had no problem moving the ball against each other. Very entertaining. Mark Anderson is going to go under the center here. Three-minute warning just given by the referees to uh, both teams. And here's the option again. And uh, there wasn't much of an option there. Mark Anderson knew he was going to keep the ball and run right behind the fullback, number 28, Fry. Tackle is made by number 44, Terry Leonetti, and uh, number 66, Nathan Allard-Bean, who is a uh, backup defensive line that pl a lineman that plays quite a bit for the Bulldogs. Tom's offensive line is doing a great job of picking off the linebackers. This is twice now that we haven't seen number 61 anywhere near the ball carrier, and as a result, Tom's getting some great yardage out of it. Second and one. Again, Anderson just keeps the ball, follows the fullback up inside, and uh, by the looks of it, all they're doing is leading the fullback and letting him carry. Yeah, kicking out that linebacker, and they're going to run it up underneath. Tackle made by uh, number 56, Craig Zimmer. It's almost like... Uh, Anderson is the tailback instead of turning around and handing it off to him following Fry. They're just letting him take the snap and following and eliminating the middleman. What a great kick out block by Brian Fry. Kicked out Benson. We got a nice double team on the end and it really made a great big hole. First down on the 10 yard line uh, for Tom on the Bulls is 10. Again, Anderson under center. That ace formation that Tom runs all the time. Here's the option again. This time they give it to Fry. Touchdown! And he's going to score. Yeah. yeah, they had one hand on him, but again, what happens? They run that early motion. The, the Laboldis uh, linebackers widen out, and they're just running that thing right underneath. Yeah, it's almost a half down, uh, not even blocking him. Yeah, they're not even touching him. But you're going to see Mike Mahoney get a hand on him. There you go. Just gets an arm on him, but Brian Fry, you're not going to bring him down with one hand. He is one solid horse. What a great football game we've got. Tom's just going for one point this time. The kicker is Mark Anderson. The holder is J.R. Klazowski. And I imagine the center is uh, Fairburn. And the point is good. So with 2.04 left in the uh, half, it's 15-13 for Lobolis over Tom. You know, Alex, this has not been any surprises in this game. Tom has come out throwing the ball which they've done successfully all year. Leboldis has come out running the ball with Schweitzer, which they've done all year, and uh, it's working for both sides. The yeah. defenses are playing well. They're just playing against two high-powered offenses. Uh, they, again, they, uh, Tom answered a touchdown with a touchdown, just like they did the time before. 65-yard uh, uh, drive, and the last play was a 10-yard carry into the end zone. You're going to see on this kickoff that this ball, if uh, if they kick it right, is not going to be anywhere near Sean Jestad, who's on our far, to the far side there. They're going to kick this thing over to the right side, uh, to their left side of the field. The boldest is right. Well, I don't know. Uh, both of those guys back there are two guys you don't want to catch no, it, Jestad no, or Collins. No, both of them got too much speed for the Tom guys. I think if I had a choice, though, I'd kick it to Collins. Jestad, like I said, he's run back three this year, and he's, uh, he's dynamite. And Tom kicks it again. Right it to the <laughs> hits it, hits it right to just that, but it's rolling on the ground here. What a great he, he kick! He better pick it up pretty quick. He's got. Okay, yeah. that was a pretty good kick. That uh, was a just that was the long, way too long waiting to pick that ball up. Uh, yep. You know, that's a free ball. They don't have to give five yards on that play. 
Uh, he should have picked it up a little quicker nope. than that. A lot, lot sooner. I tell you. Steve Fairburn and uh, uh, Steve Wilson were responsible for downing just that after he picked the ball up. We've got two minutes left, Alex, and I think what Tom's got to do is just tighten up that middle, force Leboldis to the air, or force them to go outside. And I think they'll have some good success, whereas Leboldis, what they've got to do is they've got to make some good blocks for that middle to open up for them. First down for Leboldis on the 23-yard line. A little counter-action play to uh, Craig Schweitzer, but it goes nowhere. Uh, good penetration and tackle by number 55, Sid Brown, for Tom Collegiate. That play is going to be very tough for either team to run tonight because both defensive lines penetrate so well. You've got that hesitation in the backfield. You've got a slippery surface. It's cold. You don't have the acceleration to make that play, and you'll see that uh, there's that penetration we talked about. We have a loss of five. It's second and 15 from the... Leboldis, uh, all 13 yard line. Oh, 18 yard line, sorry. Gonna go with the play action? No, just straight drop, drop back. back. Nice throw and catch. First down. Sean Jestat. Sean Jestat makes the catch. Tackles were made by number 28, Brian Fry, who's in there. Probably playing linebacker now. See, not only does Sean just have great speed, but he's also a uh, city high jump champion. So he gets up there. He's got a great leaping ability, as we see. Nice touch on the ball by John Mackey, and it gives Leboldis that first down. First and 10, uh, Leboldis on their 39-yard uh, line. They go trips right. Mackey takes a short drop. There's nothing there, and he's going to run the ball. He, and there's a fumble. He fumbled the ball. No signal yet. Looks like Leboldis has it. No. First down, Tom. Tom picked up the fumble here, number 20, Darren Olson. See, the one, the other thing, too, that Leboldis has to worry for about is John Mackey is a straight drop-back passer. He doesn't have a lot of speed, and a nice strip of the ball by Don Morrison. I don't see who recovers it, but... Uh, what a big turnover. We've got a minute left in this first half. And Darren Morrison stripped that ball there, and it was a pile. I don't know who got it. But Tom's got one minute and eight seconds here to try to score. Uh, they're on the Lobola's 42-yard line with a first down. They're in their ace formation. Trips left. Lobola's is sitting in their 44. They've gone to a 44 defense now. Here's the option again, and really there isn't much option here. It's Anderson. He's going to run yep. the ball. He should try to get to the out of bounds. He doesn't, and so the clock will keep running here. He gets about a two, three yard gain. Tackles made by Tyler Singer, number 38, for Lobolas. Timeout, Tom. Yep. Time's calling the Tom out. Time's calling the Tom out. Yeah. Uh, Tyler Singer making that tackle. Last week uh, they carried him off with a sprained ankle, so uh, he's uh, he's out there and ready to play. We've got uh, second down and about eight yards to go. Uh, he's, yeah, there's his one play. He's back off the field now. He's limping a little bit, but a, a good effort getting over there. Uh, any suggestions, Alex? Defensively, what are you looking at here? Well, I think I'd try to play at least five, uh, five defensive backs instead of four like they have been playing. And I would, uh, you know, uh, Tom, of course, I would think would be trying to throw the ball here with a, you know, a minute and five seconds to go. Uh, while this timeout was taking place, I'd like to uh, w wish Frank McChrystal and his coaches and the Ram directors the best of luck on November the 14th. It's going to be a fabulous, it was a fabulous finish last year, and you couldn't write it any better with the finish that they're going to have this year when playing the last junior championship game here in Regina on the 14th. So good luck to the Regina Rams against the Okanagan Sun. Uh, the football fans in Regina should come out and uh, watch that game. Uh, I think you'll see some excellent football, and it's a good way to end uh, the, uh, a chapter in junior football uh, in Regina. I couldn't say it any better, Alex. It's, a, it's just a great, great organization. Second down for uh, Tom. Mark Anderson goes straight back and throws to his brother Ryan Anderson deep on the outside. Uh, he was well covered there by... Uh, number 21, Garrett Olzinski, uh, who is the corner on that side. Great coverage by uh, Olzinski, number 21. There was really only one receiver that he was looking for, and he didn't roll out. There's just a nice little setup there. He's just looking for one guy, and that's his brother. And uh, overthrown. It's uh, third down here, and I imagine Tom's going to go for it. It's third and six. 
And there's uh, 58 seconds left uh, in the uh, in the half, and I'm assuming that uh, Tom will throw it up here again and hopefully well, get a first down. You, you say throw. I'm going to say that uh, Anderson is going to carry this thing on some kind of an option left or right here. But he has got a man wide open. J.R. Klozowski, touchdown. touchdown. <laughs> J.R. Klozowski on a, a great throw and catch uh, by Tom Cleegett. It was a, about a 40-yard throw and catch uh, by uh, Mark Anderson to J.R. Klozowski and, for the TD. And you know he beat probably one of the, he beat an all-star cornerback in Sean Jestak. Sean gets turned around here. Uh, J.R. gets in behind him. Great pass. Turns him around, and there we go. Pardon me, that was David. He's going for one point. It's 1915 right now with 50 seconds left. And it's no good. Right Hits off, the crossbar. Right off the crossbar. So the score remains 1915. You can't give these guys any time at all on the clock they both sides are able to do something very quickly we've seen uh, a turnover by the uh, Leboldis or by Tom and Tom and Leboldis takes it right down the field uh, Tom has countered with two touchdowns to take the lead uh, we've got a great crowd out here and they're sure getting their uh, three dollars worth now uh, again it was a the touchdown this time was also caused by a turnover by uh, the quarterback uh, number seven uh, John Mackey and, uh, you know, turnovers yep. are the uh, story of the game right now because uh, uh, Tom got one and scored and Leboldis got one and they scored. The last time these two teams played, it was Leboldis who scored just before the half to take the lead. So Tom's returned the favor. This is going. This is Craig Schweitzer with the ball here. And he's got a seam here. And the kicker, Mark Anderson, makes the, the tackle, the kicker, the quarterback. You know, uh, Tom specifically kicks this ball to that side of the field, and yet that's twice now that they have almost broken. Yeah, the, the coverage uh, was a little bit questionable, but it was also a good run by Schweitzer on the play as well. Maybe get a little more air under those things because you're kicking that ball awfully low, and it's given some pretty good runners a little more time to, uh, to get upfield. Well, with 42 seconds here, I would uh, imagine the, the Tom safety is about uh, 35, <laughs> 40 yards deep here. Give him the short one. <laughs> Mackey's back to throw, and he throws it Oh, up. great. And a great play here by the halfback. Uh, Dan Drackett. Dan Drackett, yeah, he made a nice knockdown. I thought he was going to tip it up to himself and catch it. John Mackey kind of gave that one away, though. He was looking all the way to that side of the field, and that gave Dan lots of time to get over and uh, just about pick it off. Uh, you'll see it here. Uh, John is looking all the way. He's not taking his eye off that receiver, and that gives the defensive back a real easy time of uh, get, knocking that ball down. Second and 10 from their own 50-yard line. Mackey under center, the double slot eye formation. Again, a quick set and a seam pass to just that, and he's finally tackled. Oh, ground can't make you fumble. He's tackled around the 32-yard line uh, by Darren Morrison. Leboldis does oh, a... Uh, Damon Leonard, pardon me. Leboldis has a very simple passing attack. What they do is they look and see where your inside linebacker is, if you are your outside linebacker. If he's playing tight, they're just going to throw the hot outside, you'll see. Right there. 30 seconds. Nobody there. First down. The yard marker guy should change it. A little fake dive, a little swing pass to Schweitzer, a little play that they ran earlier. Didn't wasn't quite as successful this time. He got about a three-yard gain. Tackle was made by linebacker Darren Morrison. The one thing that Leboldis does have, though, with the all-star place kicker they've got in Wernikowski, he's got a great leg, and uh, if they don't get a first down here with only 17 seconds left, they got a really good chance for a field goal. And we've got a timeout being called here by Tom Collegiate. Leboldis. Or by Leboldis, pardon me. Okay, it's uh, second and seven or eight. Uh, 17 seconds left. They might have a chance for all two plays. I think they're going to, you know, why not take it to the end zone? They've got a great arm. They've got, uh, they've got a great, uh, great, two great receivers. I think what Tom's got to do is not get to that flat too soon. If they jump out into that flat, they're going to hit the hot man right away. 
Matt, uh, Mackey doesn't seem to take uh, much of a drop. Eh? He's a three-step nope. dropper, and I, you know, I don't know if uh, he's a, they'll yep. probably throw something quick here. Yeah, he's a three-step. He's got a good release. He's got a. He's, oh, he's got, got a, a good arm, but he yep. doesn't take much of a drop. No, he doesn't. What they they've got the, the quick patterns with those quick receivers. What they want to do is throw the five-yard pass and run for 25 yards. Okay, it's second down here on the Tom 29-yard line. Balance formation. But a five-step drop. They ran that underneath pattern again to there Collins like they did earlier for the touchdown. They got a first down on it. They got 11 seconds here. They just run that little drag to Collins. You're going to see it. Uh, he's limping a little bit. He's had a sore ankle this year. and uh, But I, in a game like this, you're not going to go to the bench. Here we go. You're going to see him just drag across. What happens is Jestet comes from the other side and crosses, and when he just clears it for him. Sullivan and Story made the tackle. Again, a quick drop here and a throw into the end zone. Almost makes the catch. The Tom defender just stood there and let him run by him. I tell you, it went right through just that's hands. He's very da dangerous. Damon Leonard just stood in the end zone and uh, let the receiver run right by him. It's uh, half time in this game. The score is 19-15. That was a quick 11 seconds, Greg. I would have kicked a field goal, Alex. I oh, would have kicked a field goal. I would have gone for the touchdown, Greg. You know me. I tell you, that what would have been a one-point game going into the half. Going on a high note. Okay. Go in on a high. This note. is Channel 7 Sports. It's halftime in the Lebolas Tom final, and we'll be back for the second half. back uh, to the second half uh, cable regina channel 7 sports for the 4a city championship between labolas and tom we're just getting ready for the second half uh, kickoff the uh, deferred in the first half uh, and so tom will kick off uh, in the second half to to labolas tom uh, leading this game 1915 some quick stats passing uh, mackie 8 for 11 for 181 anderson 7 for 19 for 155 and we'll get back to some more oh I'll tell you. <laughs> a short kickoff and a real hit by Wilson. Meet Mr. Wilson. Eric Benson picked up the ball and Steve Wilson hit him just as he was picking it up. I tried. That's one of the best hits we've seen tonight, that's for sure. Dropped him like a hot rock. First down for Lobolis on the uh, on their 45-yard line. I mentioned earlier that Mackey was 8 for 11 for 181. Uh, Schweitzer was the leading rusher for Leboldis with uh, 8 carries for 56 yards. First down. They've got a tight end formation now, Leboldis. And uh, they're sweeping the ball to the outside with Schweitzer, number 28. And the tackles are made by number 61, Steve Sullivan. Now, I don't know. I, I haven't watched these guys as much as you, uh, Greg, but th have they run a tight end before? Uh, very seldom. This is, again, I think a new formation okay, that they've uh, they decided to try. Uh, Tom has really done a good job of filling up that middle, and uh, they're going to try and get Schweitzer outside. They had some good success there on that first one. First down for uh, Lobolis on the Tom 53-yard line. Again, uh, the tight end formation uh, to the left. And again, off tackle left. This time a short game, about two-yard game by Schweitzer, and the tackle there is made by Mike Story, number 46. Good job of filling by, by Mike Story. What Tom uh, has got to do right now is uh, the boldest is trying to run that off tackle with the uh, with the tight end just kicking out that linebacker, and they're, uh, they're getting to the hole very quickly. Uh, second and uh, nine. Okay, on the uh, Tom 51-yard uh, line. Again, uh, tight end right, and uh, off tackle right. They're pulling a guard, and he gets it up inside, and he'll be close to first down. Got a flag. Craig Schweitzer is the Wild ball carrier, play. and number 46, Mike Story, the linebacker, is the tackler, and we got a flag here. Well, Leboldis is not fooling anybody right now. Wherever they put that tight end, that's the side they're going to, so Tom's going to have to make an adjustment, as you'll see right here. Flag is dropped in air. There's no flag on the play. And, and what they're doing, their tight end is uh, number 61, uh, Mike Mahoney. 
and uh, he's out there for one reason, to get that outside seal, and uh, he's doing a very good job, especially when they're running to the right. They didn't have that much success to the left, but right side, they're uh, getting a little more. It's third and short. Again, Mahoney, the tight end, is right. They got a power eye formation, and quarterback just keeps it right up the middle for a first down. It'll be first and ten for uh, Labolas on the, the top 38 yard line, 39 yard line. Right now, uh, whenever Mahoney goes to that tight end, uh, he's really got a one-on-one -on -one block, and they're, and they're going to have to give that uh, that that defensive end some help because uh, Mike right now is owning that outside. Wonder what lineman they br uh, brought in in the interior then to, re uh, to just taking. Uh, we've got Benson and Zimmer. Uh, number 60 for Leboldis has come in. Uh, Derek Dedman, okay, uh, one of their backup linemen. There's a little counter action to Schweitzer. Second down. Uh, tackle is made by Steve Furbear. Uh, Steve Furbear. And it's the second down and uh, about eight yard line, eight yards from the uh, Tom. 37 yard line. Great penetration there by number 55, Sid Brown, for uh, for Tom to have put Schweitzer in his tracks there for a minute and allow the Tom Trojans to come over and make that tackle. And his tight ends right. And again, they're off tackle right. And the other thing they're doing too, Alex, they've got the tight end on that side, and what they're doing is they're just whamming that fullback into the linebacker, and uh, Schweitzer's just reading off of that block. Schweitzer is the ball carrier, and the tackle is made by Nick Hendricks, number 63, and Mark Anderson, number 7, playing defensive halfback. You're going to see here on the replay, here's the fullback just coming out, leading up the hole, good kick out block there by uh, Mahoney. Or pardon me, by number 51, Eric Benson, and that gives them a, a very, very close to the first down. Third down and uh, about a yard, yard and a half. And uh, the Bulls is going for his tight end right. And the quarterback's just going to keep it right up the middle again. Uh, John Mackey carries it. Comes. That, that's been very successful, just carrying it right up the middle, right at the... Uh, right up behind uh, the guard. Ball came loose there, but it was recovered by the boldest. But I think the whistle had gone. Uh, there's no question okay, what the boldest is trying to do here, Alex. They're not going to put the ball in the air. It looks like they're going to try and try uh, and establish a good running game here and uh, take it in. First down for uh, the boldest on the Tom 24-yard line. Tight ends to the left. Motion to the left. And we got a handoff to Schweitzer, who's trying to scoot outside. And the tackle is made on the outside there by Darren Mor uh, Morrison and Brian Fry. Uh, this time, uh, the inside was sealed. And uh, as you pointed out before, Schweitzer is a good inside hard runner with quick feet, but really doesn't have the speed to nope. get to the edge. Doesn't have the breakaway speed to get outside. And uh, as a result, Tom sitting there and about a second down and uh, 11 looking at him here. Again, uh, they have slot formation now. They've yep. gotten rid of the tight end. They're double slots again. The dive to the fullback right up the middle. And he's got good yardage, but not first down yardage. Uh, Kyan Nugent, number 39, carried the ball there. And the tackle's made by number 19, Dan Drake. Now they've got about a third and four. And... Uh, Look, don't, don't see who's coming in here. Is that 31? Uh, no, I don't see the yellow shoes. The kicker's not in there. They brought in the other lineman, number uh, number 60, Deadman. You can see Scott McNeil over there on the sidelines, the offensive coordinator. We've got a power eye formation, tight end right. Moving it to the right, and inside run here, a hard inside run by Craig Schweitzer, number 28. And the tackle there made by Tom Trojans, number seven, Mark Anderson, and number uh, 55, Sid Brown. Good hard inside running. Again, 
Uh, it's no secret where they're going to go. All right, they're going to go to that right side because they've had a lot of success with it in this first half. First down for Lobolis on the Tom 11-yard line. They've taken this opening kickoff and just pounded the ball down the field. Double slots again, I formation. Lead play up inside, and it's shut down. Uh, Craig Schweitzer is the ball carrier, number 55. Brian Fry. Brian Fry and number uh, Brian Fry, number 28, and number Sid Brown, number 55, uh, stopped that play from going any place. Yeah. Brian Fry just keyed right in on that uh, on the fullback, and uh, right behind him was Schweitzer. You'll see it right here. Just keyed right in, makes a good hit, takes him back, and there's no gain on that play, or maybe one yard. We got double slots here again on the 10 yard line. A quick dive inside to the fullback, and no it's going to be close. It'll be a first down, if not a touchdown, because they just needed to get it down to the one for the first down. Uh, Kyan Nugent again, uh, number 39, is the ball carrier. Just a just a, a, a quick little give here. Uh, it seems that uh, they're getting a nice quick hitter on that guard. Well, I, the, the middle linebacker is probably keying on Schweitzer, Schweitzer, number 28. And when he goes that way, he's probably just stepping one step, and they dive that ball up inside and uh, probably don't even have to block him. Plus, that fullback's getting the ball right at the line of scrimmage, so it's the, the penetration isn't there. First and 10 on the one, and quarterback carries it up the middle for a touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown by quarterback John Mackey for the Bolus. The Bolus is taking the opening kickoff. And uh, did they? I don't think they threw the ball one time, did they? Didn't throw the ball once. They set up in the, matter of fact, they ran the, uh, the slot formation twice. And I believe the other seven or eight times, it was strictly a tight end. And again, there on the short yardage, they uh, put Mahoney on the right side, and the quarterback uh, followed him in and giving them the lead. They almost used up six minutes of this uh, third quarter here at 6.07. Uh, so they just ground the ball out. Uh, point after here by uh, number... That's 31. Number 30, uh, Mark Wernowski. Yeah, Wernowski, yeah. Wernowski, okay, thank you, Greg. Yeah, yeah. All-star, as I mentioned earlier, he was the all-star place kicker for the Schwann Conference this year. There seems to be some... Well, not confusion, but... Okay, discussion, they're yeah. Little discussion, yeah. Quarterback uh, Mackey is the holder. And the point after is good. So uh, the Boulders Bulls in front 22-19 uh, on a six-minute drive from the opening kickoff. Well, uh, they surprised on that one. I really thought they might throw the ball up a little bit, but they get that success with the tight end. I'm sure they uh, they fooled uh, the ball, uh, Tom with that tight end. Uh, many times it's said that whoever makes the best adjustments at halftime uh, is going to have the success, and it looks like for the first six minutes, a uh, little boldest adjustments uh, worked, and uh, Tom's going to have to uh, come to the sidelines, and I think defensive coordinator Chuck Toss going to have to figure something out with that tight end situation. So we have a kickoff here by Mark Wernikowski. And he kicks it down the field here to number seven, Mark Anderson. Mark Anderson gets turned around. Mask. I think we've got a face mask here. Uh, he gets down to about the 34-yard line, but they'll attack some more yardage onto that because of the penalty. Uh, Luke Baton is the uh, tackler. You're going to see a face mask, mask right there. He just spun him right around. Yeah, good call by the official. Yeah, you got to watch those hands. That gives Tom some we have excellent unnecessary roughness on the face mask. Number 88, Laboldus, 15 yards, first down. So they have a 15-yard penalty. Tom will get first down then on their own 49-yard line. Uh, good field position here, and we'll see how Tom replies to the touchdown that Laboldus just scored. Tom's in an I formation. Now they split out to trips right. And they're running the option again. Inside gift to Brian Fry. He's got some He's room. He's got some room. He could go all the way here. And it's a tackle. We've got a flag down on the 50, Alex. 
Okay. So it could be coming back. We may have a hold. Angus uh, Zabo makes the tackle here. I think there was what, a gaping hole there on that play. I think what you're going to see here, you look at the wide receiver, just when uh, Brian Fry makes his cut out here, you're going to see a hole right there by 21, and that's the call. Yeah, 21 for the uh, Tom Trojans, uh, Taylor Cook. Number 21, Tom, after the first down, 10-yard penalty, first down. So Tom got the first down before the penalty occurred, and so they'll uh, be first and 10 again uh, from their own... 52-yard uh, line. I want to put a little plug in here, Alex, on that kickoff. Luke Baton, uh, nephew of uh, Jimmy Baton, runs tumblers and uh, a fine establishment. Uh, that should be worth a free one, eh, Jimmy? Here we go. Trips left. And we're going to run the option again. This time the quarterback's just going to hang on to the ball. And he's running for the outside here. And he gets a first down. Well, one thing was made by uh, Garrett Olazenski. Uh, again, Mark Anderson making a great carry to the outside. There was no doubt that the option man was going to get that. Scotty Gilmore doesn't even worry about. He goes right over to the option man. Matter of fact, he tries to tackle him. Mark Anderson, he's just too dangerous. Too dangerous to leave open like that. 19-yard gain by Mark Anderson. It makes it first and 10 uh, on the uh, Lebolis. 38-yard line. Mark led all rushers in the first half. He had 10 carries for 83 yards, and he's taking right over from where he left off. Anders is under center again, and here following the fullback up inside, a uh, shorter gain this time. You know, I think uh, it looks like that fullback could take that ball. The fullback took the ball. No, right? no, no, not. I think he's open, though, Alex. I think if they give that ball to Fry, I think he's going to get some big yardage out of it. Well, I think maybe he gave it to Fry because uh, Anderson, when he got up, he didn't have the ball. Play, the second, no, he fumbled it. Did he? He fumbled the ball, and okay. Fry picked it up. All right. Better to be lucky. You bet. You don't win the lottery by being good. First down, on the or second down on the 35-yard line, and seven yards to go. Again, uh, it's basically turned into quarterback right, quarterback left. Uh, there is no option there. They're just leaving the ball with number 28. Uh, Mike Mahoney made the tackle, and Fry is just operating as a lead blocker and is just taking the quarterback and running around the end with him. You're going to see they don't get the block on Mahoney this time. He gets a piece of him, slows him down, and there's Deadman and uh, number 33 for Leboldis, and that is uh, Angus Zabo making the tackle. So, surprise, they're not going to be uh, punting here. Third down on the Lobolis 34-yard uh, line. They got about a uh, good six yards to go. Anderson under center. Roll out. Little, He's little got room action. to run. Couple oh. missed tackles here. But, but you know he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. He's coming up a couple of yards short, but uh, Lobola sure would have kicked themselves because there were some uh, good opportunities to make a tackle, and they missed the tackle. Tackle was finally made by number 56, Craig Zimmer. Two guys had a shot at him, Alex. I think uh, you're going to see uh, uh, Terry. Uh, no, pardon me. There's uh, Craig Zimmer misses him, and then uh, Scotty Gilmore misses him. And down the field here, the tackle is made by a horde of Lobolis players uh, led in there by number 13, uh, uh, Scott Gilmore. So the ball turned over, and Lobolis is first down on their own 35-yard line. They're back to their regular offense. Got trips left. Straight drop back. A little swing pass out here uh, to Craig Schweitzer. Yep. And he gets about eight yards. Just a little tackle made by Mike Story, number 46. Just a little slip screen there. Uh, uh, Schweitzer just checking off out into the flat. And uh, again, the, Tom get, put some good pressure on him. The one thing that they've got to watch out for, there was uh, just that was wide open in the middle. No one covered him. Cable Regina on Channel 7 is ple uh, pleased to bring you this telecast of the Tom Trojan Lebolis City Final. Uh, I hope you're all enjoying yourselves at home while you're watching this uh, when it's telecasted either Sunday or Tuesday. Lebolis, uh second down and about three yards to go. There's the tight end tight formation. End, yeah, tight end right. And they give it Schweitzer right up the middle. He breaks one tackle. A little spin move, and he's down at the uh, 
48-yard line. Tackle made by uh, Chris Sullivan from his defensive end position. A long way to run. That's one thing I've noticed uh, watching Craig Schweitzer run this year. If you don't make a tackle right at the point here and you give him that extra step, he can really turn it on. Mark Anderson just came off the field. He looked a little tired. He's going to get a little drink of water here. Uh, and he's replaced by number uh, 10 from Tom, uh, Nathan Garo Garochinski. And I probably butchered that name. Sorry. Balance eye formation by Lobolis. Quick dive up uh, inside by number 39, uh, the fullback, uh, Khan Nugent. And the tackle is made by number 46 linebacker Mike Story. They're getting an awful lot of success with this fullback play. What are you going to see? Well, we've got just a little inside trap. Benson uh, coming across just inside trap on the tackle, and that opens up a big hole for that fullback. Second and two. Tom's having a difficult time stopping this ground game right now. we got balance eye again. And we got a little draw action to Schweitzer. A little slow, delayed play. Uh, they've had more success hitting the ball quick. Schweitzer gets the first down, though. Tackles made by number 20, Darren Morrison. Tom seems to be gambling a little bit. They uh, took their linebacker right out of the middle on this play, moved him to the outside, and uh, they were very lucky just to give him five yards. Well, I think they think that the middle linebacker, and it might be, I don't know how uh, Chuck is uh, running his defense, but... The linebacker might be uh, keying on number 28 and moving when yeah. he moves, and they're given as, as opposed to moving with the fullback. Yeah, good point. <laughs> they ran a quick dive again inside again to number three. Uh, Schweitzer's on there. A, a number Craig, uh, Craig Schweitzer. Yeah. Okay, and the tackle is made by number 55, Sid Brown. Uh, just a short gain of about a yard. It'll be second and uh, nine from the 50-yard line. From the Tom 50-yard line. I'd be playing a little bit tight on these two slot backs right now, Collins and uh, Collins and Jestat. Well, they got uh, tight end They're right. They're tight end right. You're right, they are. High formation. A little counter action here to uh, Schweitzer. Gets a nice little hole and a good run. And again, has a first down at the uh, Tom 37 or 38-yard line. That's been their bread, or butter, bread and butter play for this half. Again, uh, good block on the outside. They pull the tackle. Leonetti comes up the field. And uh, they've got a great blocking bunch out in front. And Dan Drake at number 19 and number 61, Steve Fairburn, make the uh, tackle on the play. First down, Lebolis. Uh, Balance eye formation. A little quick drop and a throw to the slot. He avoids one tackle. And again, a horde of uh, Tom players led by uh, J.R. Kozowski, who tried to rip the ball out, uh, bring him down uh, on the outside. Again, another first down for uh, Lobolis. Uh, nice quick little hitch, one step, throw it out there. One thing you can't do, you can't leave just at that wide open, though. I mean, they've got absolutely nobody on him. And as a result, you'll see what he does when he gets the ball. He doesn't stop running. He's not a big guy, but he's a strong runner. You've got to have somebody in that area to take away that pass, or it could be uh, six points. Well, at the end of the third quarter, it's 22-19 uh, for Lobolis. And uh, the story of the second half is Lobolis putting that tight end out there and running off tackle to the tight end side. And Tom's been had a difficult time stopping that run play. So they've uh, made a change at halftime. And again, like Greg, uh, I haven't watched these guys as much as you have, but I've never seen them run a tight end before. No, they have not run the tight end. And uh, Lobolis is good about that. Scott McNeil is a very shrewd offensive coordinator. He doesn't, he'll practice stuff all year, but he won't use it uh, unless it's necessary. First down again for Lobolis. Balance eye formation. Little swing pass out here to Craig Schweitzer again, which they used before earlier. 
and he gets maybe a nice seven yard, eight yard gain, probably seven yards before he's brought down by number 46, Mike Story. Yeah, that's the second time they've used that play and uh, it's very difficult when you've got your corner out there already covering a wide receiver and you're bringing a second man out. It puts a lot of pressure on him and they're getting some success with that. It's like a, a wide toss. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it's worked very well for him to get uh, Schweitzer outside. They're at the 11 yard line. Uh, it's first down. Slot formation again. Quick dive up inside to the fullback, uh, number 39, Khan uh, Nugent. That's Mike Story there for the tackle. There's a very short gain on that one, if any. It's a second and probably nine from the 10 yard line or the, you know, in that vicinity. Mackey's under center. We have I formation, balance slots. A little fake. No wide open. Switzer to the outside again. Touchdown. Tell you what, if Schweitzer wasn't open on that play, uh, just that was in the end zone. But again, there's that little pass out to the flat. Like you said, just like a wide toss. And he runs it in and gives themselves a nine-point lead. They're, they're just clearing out that side of the field by running their two receivers straight up the seams and clearing out the halfback in the, uh, the corner. And no linebacker seems to be flowing out there with that. Now, I guess when they do fold the linebacker, that's when they're diving the fullback up inside. Yeah. That time they fake the dive up inside, it holds that middle linebacker, and they don't get anybody out there with them. Again, kicking the single here uh, for uh, Lebolas is Mark Ronikowski. I think one thing that, uh, well, definitely Tom is going to have to do is they haven't changed their uh, their defense at all. Uh, we've mentioned earlier how a number of times that uh, Lebolas is going with his tight end. Uh, Tom stays in that uh, 43 setup they have, and uh, it's very easy to block if you stay in that the, uh, the whole time. They're going to have to make some kind of adjustment. I don't know what. There's a 61-yard uh, drive with a 10-yard touchdown pass by Mackey to uh, uh, Craig uh, Schweitzer. Uh, and that play has worked for them about three or four times in a row, a couple times on that drive. We have a kickoff here now by Mark Wernikowski. Uh There's 10.43 left in the quarter, still plenty of time. It's 29-19 now for uh, Lobolis over Tom, but there's plenty of time for Tom to come back uh, because they have the ability to throw the ball deep. They're not a grinded out slow team and they can have the ability to throw the ball and so they have a, an opportunity to come back in this game. Number 24, uh, Ryan Anderson is carrying this back. He gets a nice seam. He's turning it out to the outside and he's finally brought down around the 35 uh, by Garrett Olazinski, number 21. Alex, it's, you know, we've got a bit of a, a cool night here tonight, but the fans uh, have had great support. Tom and Lebolas have had just great fan support this year. It says a lot about their schools and uh, a lot about their principals who run great schools, and we'd like to congratulate the principals of both schools, and that's uh, Alec uh, Young over at Tom and Sharon Bender at Lebolas. Are you looking for a promotion, Greg? No, no, I'm quite happy. I've reached my uh, level of, inadequ of uh, inadequacy. All right. <laughs> Uh, first down for Tom on the 37-yard uh, line. Dive up inside to uh, Brian Fry uh, for about a four-yard, three-yard gain. Uh, tackles made by Cameron Obergewich, number 11, and Craig Zimmer, number 56. As well as that freeze option that Tom was running earlier, you're going to see now that uh, they're running that inside, uh, the inside option. Uh, the dive option with Fry now, whereas before they were taking the off tackle. Second and uh, seven from the uh, Tom 41-yard line. And again, the dive up inside. No, it wasn't. Mark Anderson carried the ball. He fooled me. I thought uh, Fry had it. If he would have given it to Fry, he would have had lots of yardage. Uh, Eric Benson made the tackle for Lobolis number 51. 
Leboldis made a slight change on that one as well. Before that, Benson was taking the outside, and Anderson was cutting it up for big yardage. This time you're going to see Benson come up inside, and that's just where Anderson's been getting all yardage, and it's a good adjustment stopping him right there with third down and about six. Tom's called the timeout. Uh, they're going to gamble here uh, with 9-12. Now, one of the things that uh, Leboldis has been able to do in the second half, because they have been running the ball and not throwing it, uh, they have chewed up a lot of time off the clock. Whereas in the first half, the, uh, they threw the ball a lot. Uh, they, there's always stoppages in play because of the ball thrown. The clock doesn't run. But when you run the ball, the clock runs continuously. And Lobos has done a good job of uh, managing the clock and taking away time from Tom. Tom's going to have to uh, uh, this is do a big something play. quickly here. This is a big play yes, because it, uh, it could be a big swing here if they don't get this first down. Little boot action here by uh, Mark Anderson and a throw out oh. here to his bread and butter man J.R. Kozowski and uh, just get down J.R. This is a this is a play that uh, Tom runs very successfully. What they do is they bring Kozowski from the far side of the field. They drag him all the way across, uh, roll out, and he just hits that open seam as you can see. And Anderson puts it right on the money. Yeah, and uh, Sean Justat. You'll see uh, Mark Mahoney, Mike Mahoney make the. Uh, uh, the tackle here. Coming all the way across the field. Great hands. Go to your go to your sure-handed receiver when you need the yardage. So first down for Tom on the Lebolis uh, 54-yard line uh, with the 850 left in the game. Straight dive play to the fullback number 28, Brian Fry. Uh, tackle made by Nathan Allard Bean, number 66 for Lebolis. Nathan Allard Bean, uh, all-star defensive tackle this year, uh, and uh, a real emotional football player. Brings a lot to the table. Pumps those guys up. It's uh, second and about nine yards to go on the uh, Lebolis 52-yard line. What Lebolis has done now is they've, they're sitting in this 44 defense. And that's making it awful difficult to run up the middle. But this is what you do if you can get it down there. Is a pass uh, deep into the middle of the field to Darren uh, Morrison, number 20. Uh, Mike Mahoney makes a great job of knocking the ball down, number 61. They, Otherwise, that's a touchdown. There had, that had to be a man-to-man -man situation. Uh, Mahoney picking up the slot back because that's a long way downfield to cover. And you're great athletic elite there. Knocking the ball down because Sullivan was open. That's making uh, good use of a linebacker that deep down the field to go knock a pass down. I mean, Morrison was open there. Pardon me. Oh, Tom's going to punt. <laughs> it's third and uh, eight. Uh-oh. The ball is, it was going to be a fake, and the ball goes over his head, and it's on the ground, and Lebolas picks it up. Number uh, 66, Nathan Allen Bean on the Tom 38-yard line, 34-yard line. Uh, it was going to be a fake. The snap uh, didn't hit uh, Mark Anderson just right. And uh, Tom had the same trouble last week with their uh, centers on third down. Twice they had the ball snapped over their head against O'Neill, resulting in uh, safety touches. And that time, again, a little high. And Leboldis uh, is much the better for that now. The ball says first down then on the uh, Tom 35-yard line. Tom's going to have to do a good job now of uh, holding the, uh, these people to um, a single or a field goal or something like that. The fir uh, first play is a dive up the middle to the fullback. Can Nugent, number 39 for Lobolis, and he has stopped uh, with a minimal gain, if any at all. Tackle in there was made by number 58, Scott Brown. If they can just keep this ball on the ground, run some time off the clock, it's uh, going to make it difficult. Uh, second and nine, second and ten. There seems to be a little confusion in the Lobola's huddle with people running off and on. Collins is running off. He's got. He looks like he's limping nice. quite badly. Yeah, he is limping. And the fullback left the field as well. Uh, they're in their tight end set here. They dive to the weak side to uh, Schweitzer. He slips off one tackle and then uh, cuts to the right and uh, gets a first down. He, did. Uh, he was stopped initially, 
Uh, they should have stopped him for about a two-yard gain, and uh, instead he slips off and makes uh, a, a very long gain, gets him a first down. He reads the uh, holes. tackle is made by uh, Ryan Anderson, number 24. He reads the hole so well. Uh, you can see that it was stuffed up there, but he's got great peripheral vision, sees the outside. We've got a man down right now on the... Uh, Labolda's team. I'm not sure so who that is. Their offensive lineman number 60, Derek uh, Deadman, is uh, injured at this point in time, and they're looking to him. Uh, hopefully, he's not too serious. Uh, they're calling for some help on the sidelines right now. You know, Alex, we look at. Uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, David Collins limping. I haven't seen him out that much, and I wonder if that's one of the reasons why they've gone to the tight end, uh, missing that slot back. I haven't uh, seen him out on the field. and uh, You're right. The second half, uh, Collins has not played that much, and therefore uh, you might be right. That's my, why they went to the tight end, because they lost one of their best slot backs. Because they're certainly not using as a passing formation because uh, uh, Mahoney is much more valuable as a blocker than uh, as a receiver, and that's got nothing against your hands, Mike, but... Uh, the 3A Provincial Final will be taking place uh, uh, next week on the 14th, and the site is to be determined depending on the uh, who wins the uh, the 3A uh, Provincial uh, Semifinal. Uh, the Provincial Final 4A Final is in Saskatoon on November the 14th. Congratulations to Darren Olson and the Notre Dame Hounds for winning their third 3A City Championship. Uh, they've got an excellent program in Notre Dame, and good luck to you in the playoffs. Okay, uh, second down and about 11 yards. Uh, I formation double slots. Uh, they're running a slot counter. Uh, but it is stuffed by the Tom Trojans for a loss. Well, the defense had to come up big, and they have come up big. Sean Jester was the ca uh, ball carrier, and Brian Fye was the tackler for Tom Collegiate. Uh, it is third down and long, and I would imagine maybe they might try a field goal yeah. here because they do have a very good field goal kicker. Yeah. Wernikowski's putting the tee down. They are going for three. The last carry was for minus two yards. Uh, it's uh, third and 13. And uh, Mackey is the holder. They might have a gamble here. Uh, they have uh, the kick is going to be from the 28-yard uh, line. It fumbles the ball, and Tom oh. tacks a, a big break for Tom. They're still only 10 points down. Mark Wernikowski uh, fumbles the ball, and Darren Morrison uh, it makes the tackle. So Tom turns the ball over here on downs. And it's a big play for him because now it only puts him down by 10 with uh, 4 minutes and 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Big play by uh, by the Tom defense, even though, I mean, it was a pretty good snap here. You're going to see it. It just goes through his hands. It's a little cool out there. Wernikowski's got nowhere to go, and uh, at least he hung on to the ball so they couldn't pick it up and advance it. First down uh, for Tom on the 29-yard line. Uh, Mark Anderson goes straight back, throws it up in the middle, and it's... We're going to get interference on yeah. number uh, 13 for Laboldis. Yeah, it was intercepted, but uh, it's going to be waved off the interception. The, uh, Benson makes the interception, but there's going to be interference by Scott Gilmore on number 20, uh, Darren Morrison from Tom. So it'll be a first down uh, for Tom. Notice here, he just about tackles him. Right here, you're going to see that he uh, didn't give Morrison a chance. He was all over his back. So that uh, breathes new life into uh, Tom. Number 13, the boldest. 15 yard penalty. First down, Tom. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. This is Cable Regina Channel 7 Sports. Pleased to be, present the Regina 4A City Championship uh, to you on uh, Channel 7 uh, between the boldest and Tom. Tom's changed their formation. They're going to the trips formation. Now they got four receivers to one side, actually, with block staying in. They're going one on one. We're going to the back side, okay, uh, to his brother, Mar uh, Ryan Anderson, uh, and uh, they're trying to take advantage of Garrett Olszinski on the corner on the back side. They might have something if they run that same formation and run the guy on a post inside. I think there's more room in the middle of the field if you throw it there. You get those four because, uh, again, uh, Basically, they're playing four defensive backs, yep. and they're leaving that guy on an island. If they let him run a post on that backside, he might be open. 
Notice too though that we've got it there. The, the they put a safety back in the middle now. Nice little counter back inside to uh, Brian Fry, number 28, the ball carrier, and the tackler here is uh, number 61, Mike Mahoney. Called his name quite frequently tonight. I can see why he is an All Star uh, for Lebolas. I think uh, what Tom's going to have to do is just take uh, take the short passes if you can get it down there because the boldest corners are playing off uh, quite a bit, so that flat could be open in this 44 defense that we're seeing. It's third and five. Tom's going for it again, and uh, Anderson out. has to call a timeout. There must have been timeout, some... Tom. There must. Have, uh, this is their second timeout, so they're done with timeouts. Okay, 3:19 left. Uh, the score is 29-19 for Lebolas Golden Suns over the Tom Trojans. The, uh, we mentioned earlier the uh, the, the uh, Lebolas coaching staff. Uh, the coaches for Tom, we've got the defensive coordinator is Chuck Toth. Peter Nakaneshny uh, looks after the offense. Teresa Trekalo helps with the defensive backs. Uh, Brian Seif, a longtime uh, coach in the RFL, is with the linemen. Uh, Mike Dormuth is, works with the receivers. Danny Pascu, uh, <coughs> Ram Grad works with the uh, defensive uh, backs. We've got uh, head coach Jerry Thompson, uh, defensive line coach Corey Renwick, and uh, Daryl Kutsidis is helping out again with the line. And uh, we shouldn't be amiss without mentioning the team doctor, a real long-time uh, proponent of football in the city, Dr. Donovan Brown. Okay, it's third down here for Tom. Uh, big play for them. Anderson goes straight back. It's a design quarterback draw, and he's got the first down and some more. And he gets out of bounds and stops the clock. <clears throat> uh, Doc Brown's been doing this for a long time in Regina, and uh, uh, I really appreciate all the years that he uh, did it for me when I was at Tom. Uh, I've had some association with him uh, at the Rough Riders. Uh, an, an excellent doctor and a great person. And then we're all we're mentioning uh, doctors. I'd like to uh, thank Dr. Ian Hill, who uh, lines up all the team doctors. Every football team in the city has a team doctor, and uh, Dr. Ian Hill is a uh, is the is the head of that, and uh, they do a fine job. We had a penalty on that play, Alex. Uh, there was a hold. Uh, it's going to be third down over again, and about 14 yards. We're all we're seeing only two teams play here tonight, but there are a lot of high school teams that play both 3A and 4A in Regina, also Weyburn, Yorkton, and Notre Dame, as you mentioned before, Greg. Uh, a lot of coaches and a lot of players that put in a lot of time uh, on a volunteer basis. Third and 15 here. Uh, Mark Anderson goes way back. And he throws it down the field, and it's knocked down. Uh, by two Lebolas players, uh, Scott Gilmore and uh, Craig uh, Graham Cooper, number 26. I think, uh, and uh, yeah, it looks like Sean just at uh, in the middle here, getting up a little slowly, playing center field there. Nice pass, but uh, there's Sean just at, and uh, as you mentioned, Grant Cooper. So uh, they turn the ball over and downs uh, with 2:50 left in the game. Uh, Lebolas gets the ball on the Tom. 39-yard uh, line with a first and 10. I'm sure they'll run the clock down as much as possible here. And uh, right now they look like they're running double slots as opposed to the tight end formation. I thought they'd sure, for sure come out in tight end, but uh, what do I know? <laughs> and here comes the lead off tackle uh, to number 28. It gains about a five yard, uh, about five yards. Uh, Going back into a little bit of history here, Leboldis uh, was in the city final last year. Uh, we were fortunate enough to come up with a good game and uh, and defeat them. Uh, Tom was in two years ago. They were back-to-back uh, -back winners in 92-93 for Tom. And if we go back, uh, Leboldis last won the city championship. I believe it is in uh, 1990. So it's uh, it's been a while for the Leboldis Golden Suns. Uh, the ta last tackle was made by Mike Story. It is now second and six. The last game was a four-yard gain. Again, uh, they do go to the tight end formation, tight end right. Mackey is do, uh, doing a good job of working the clock down and taking all the time he possibly can before he snaps the ball. Again, they lead to the weak side with uh, uh, Craig Schweitzer, and then he scoots out to the right again. Uh, again, coming out of the clutches of a bunch of Tom tacklers. 
seems to come out of the run into that pile and then slip out to the right. Uh, he's done that a couple times to Tom. Uh, they've got a first down. Uh, tackles were finally made by Ryan Anderson and Dan Dracut, number 19 for Tom no, Collegiate. Again, we mentioned earlier, he's just got great vision, uh, stuffed up, but he likes to, he can bounce it around. He's got quick feet and uh, gets themselves a first down. Uh, I would think that Craig Schweitzer is probably the offensive star of uh, Lobolas tonight. Uh, you know, he's done a great job of running the ball for them. Yeah, when they've needed the yardage, he's got it for them. And first, in the air as well. First down on the 25-yard uh, line. Uh, again, uh, eye formation. Slots right. Uh, Big hole for Schweitzer. Right, Schweitzer right off tackle down to about the three-yard line. Uh, came through there untouched. J.R. Kozowski makes the tackle. Uh to uh, stop uh, Schweitzer from going into the end zone. Uh, I mentioned at the beginning of the game, Alex, that it, uh, the, the big difference was going to be in the line play, and right now the Leboldis uh, offensive line is uh, really taking it to the Tom defensive line, and as a result, you're seeing some big gains and some through some great big holes. So, uh, again, a very strong uh, front line for the Leboldis Golden Suns. Yeah, that was a 22-yard game by Schweitzer. I imagine uh, he's got to have over two yard, 200 yards rushing tonight. Uh, against, I guess the key here was the, that tight end coming out in the second half and, and just deciding to run the ball instead of trying to throw it. They try to run it inside here again to Schweitzer. He gets a short or no gain at all. Uh, tackles were made by uh, uh, Mike Story from Tom Collegiate linebacker, and he's made a lot, a lot of tackles tonight for the Tom Trojans. I mentioned earlier that Scott McNeil is the offensive coordinator for Lobolis Golden Suns. He's the uh, son of Jack McNeil. Uh, Jack has been a long-time uh, member of the RFL. He's, uh, if you want his age, it's somewhere between dirt and an old tree. Here we got double slots again, I formation. Quarterback right up the middle, touchdown for John Mackey of Lobolis. And that, I think, as they say, should seal the 1998 city championship for the Leboldis Golden Suns. There's 57 seconds left in the game, and the score is 35-19 for Leboldis, and uh, they'll be kicking the extra point. Again, uh, it's been a, a great season of high school football here in Regina, and uh, as we said before, there's only two teams that you see out here tonight, but they are the culmination of many, many teams that have played all year long throughout the city of Regina in both 3A and 4A divisions. Uh, this single point is being kicked here by Mark Wernichowski for Lobolis, and the kick is, is good. Uh, the score is now 36-19. And I know that the Tom Trojans are probably very disappointed at this point in time, but they've had a great year, and they've done a really good job. Uh, yep. as most of the schools in the city have. Yeah, we have to salute the co both coaching staffs. They prepared their teams very well for this city championship. Uh, Leboldis, though, has had a great year. Uh, uh, they've been undefeated. Uh, they were odds-on favorite earlier in the year to uh, be here. They are, and uh, they haven't disappointed their fans tonight and uh, lead 36-19 with about 57 seconds left. Yeah, the score at uh, halftime was 19-16 for Tom. Tom has not been able to score in the second half. Uh, well, uh, the Lobolis has put up 30 points, or 20 points, pardon me, to make it 36-19. Uh, uh, it, it's been a tough second half for the uh, Tom Trojan defense. We're going to have a kickoff here then by Mark Wernichowski from uh, uh, Lobolis. Uh, the kick is going down uh, deep to uh, Ryan Anderson. He's trying to kick it to the outside. And he gets to the uh, Tom 27-yard uh, line. Tackles made by uh, number 33, Three Angus Zabo. Uh, and Zabo Luke Baton. Congratulations Luke then to the Lobolis coaches and their and their, their players and their school uh, for a fine season. And good luck in the provincial championship. Uh, Greg, do you have any idea who's... Uh, who they're playing from Saskatoon, or has that been determined Well, yet? the last time I heard, uh, the two uh, strong teams up there were Mount Royal and uh, Edie Fian, but I'm not quite sure, but uh, they were the ones in first and second place. Whoever uh, is representing Saskatoon is going to have their hands full with this Leboldis team because they are very, very solid in all aspects of the game. Uh, Mark Anderson goes back here on first down and throws the ball to uh, Darren Morrison on an out. Tackles made by linebacker number 51, Ken Benson, for Lobolis. And defensive back David Collins, who's back in the game. First down for Tom 
okay, from their uh, 40-yard line. Uh, Clock is ticking down. We've got 35 seconds. Again, Tom goes to that four-man formation. Now fifth man to that side. And uh, he avoids one tackler. And now he's uh, running. He's at the 50-yard line. He's at midfield. And he hasn't given up yet. It's uh, down to the Leboldis 50-yard line. Uh, tackled by number 26, Graham Cooper. Mark Anderson, who's the Offensive Player of the Year, uh, uh, also has a, had a great night tonight. Uh, he is a, a good, strong athlete, as you pointed out before, Greg, and uh, there's no die or quit no, in, in that no young man. There's no quit in it. Just look at this. He's, uh, you'd think that there was just a two-point game the way he's going at this thing. Great block there to help spring him outside, but uh, Cooper hangs on, brings him down inbounds, and uh, barring uh, anything else, this should be the last play of the city final. Five seconds left in the game. Anderson goes back and throws to number 34, uh, Steve Wilson. The game is over. Again, I would like to thank uh, Cable Regina uh, Channel 7 Sports for having us uh, here tonight. I'd like to thank Greg for his excellent work and for Lauren Schmier for his spotting. Uh, it's been a great season of high school football here in Regina, and we hope to see you next year. And again, once more, the Canada Bowl Rams against the Suns here on November the 14th. Come out and see junior football at its best uh, for the last time in Regina. Thank you. And that's it. The Bowl is 36, Tom 19. Good night, Alex. Channel 7 Sports has been sponsored by Saskatchewan Lotteries. Proceeds from Saskatchewan Lotteries benefit volunteer sport, culture, and recreation groups throughout the province. These groups provide healthy and positive activities for people of every age and ability. Every time you purchase Saskatchewan Lotteries products, you're benefiting more than 12,000 volunteer groups. can lay claim to an undefeated season. That's the provincial final against Bedford Road. The game goes Saturday in Saskatoon.